Welcome to my presentation. This presentation is part of the playlist The Chain Rule. In this presentation, we will be talking about the concepts and rules related to chain rule, and we will also try to look at some example problems. The chain rule is one of the most powerful rules of differential calculus. The chain rule deals with composite functions. The statement of chain rule can be stated as follows. If y is a function of u and if u is a function of x, we can write it as y is equal to f of g of x like that. And the chain rule is stating that dy by dx is equal to dy by du times du by dx. So let's look at an example to, to better understand this chain rule. Let's say we have a function y is equal to x squared plus 1, the whole thing raised to the power of 3. Okay, we want to differentiate this using the chain rule. So, since this is a complex function, we're going to let u be equal to x squared plus 1, the inside function, like that. And therefore, y can be written as u to the power of 3, since we have x squared plus 1 to the power of 3. And therefore, that is the reason why the y uh, will translate to u to the power of 3. Okay. Now, we have two functions. u is a function of x and y is a function of u. We can differentiate this u with respect to x and we can differentiate y with respect to u. When we differentiate u with respect to x, we can write it as follows, d by dx of x squared plus 1. d by dx of x squared, we can use the power rule, and when we apply the power rule, it translates to 2 times x to the power of 2 minus 1 plus d by dx of 1, which is a constant, that is going to be equal to 0. When we simplify it further, it's going to simplify as equal to 2x. 2 times x to the power of 2 minus 1 simplifies to 2x. On this side, y is a function of u, we're going to differentiate that with respect to u. dy by du is equal to d by du of u cubed. We can use the power rule here again. So when we use the power rule, it's going to simplify as shown here, 3 times u to the power of 3 minus 1. And when we further simplify, it is going to be 3 u to the power of 2. We, we now have the value of dy by du and du by dx. When we use the chain rule, the chain rule is stating that dy by dx is equal to dy by du times du by dx. We have the value of dy by du as equal to 3u squared, and we have the value of du by dx as 2x. We're going to combine them together, as shown here, when we simplify that. Multiplying the numbers, 3 times 2 is 6x u squared, 6x u squared. But in our answer, we cannot have u as a part of the answer. We need to translate u back to x's. So we started saying that let u be equal to x squared plus 1. When we substitute the value of u as equal to x squared plus 1 into this expression here, it simplifies to 6x times x squared plus 1, the whole thing raised to the power of 2. This is, this is our solution. This is the way we're going to use the chain rule to solve simple example problems. In my next video presentation, we will be solving problems using the chain rule. 